Welcome to Limestone Pavement Formation with Mr Mercer on Geography Geeks. Um, I would again divide this process up into three diagrams as usual. And as usual, make sure that you're putting labels on or writing a paragraph underneath. Diagram 1 might look, look something like this. What I've done is I've taken a cross section through the limestone. If I wanted to, I could point out the bedding planes and the joints. At Label number one, we want to mention that a glacier has scraped the limestone clean through the process of abrasion. At label number two, you want to mention that mildly acidic rainfall uh, causes chemical weathering to take place. Into diagram two, you want to mention at label three that chemical weathering known as carbonation, has widened one of the vertical joints into a grike. And at label number four, you could mention that the grikes are further widened by biological weathering, where plants' roots grow into the rock and break it apart. That takes us to diagram three, which as you can see, I've done a kind of perspective view of the surface of the limestone pavement now. And you might want to practice drawing that. And here, just make sure you point out to the examiner that you know which is a clint and which is a grike. So at label 5 here, I'm going to have an arrow that clearly points to the gap between the clints, being the grike. And at label 6, an arrow that clearly points to one of the paving slabs, and I would call that a clint. In summary then, mention the fact that a glacier abrades the limestone surface clean. Mention chemical weathering, go into as much detail as you like with that. Um, try and get to using the term carbonation, and make sure that you mention what it does, which is that it dissolves the limestone. The joints are widened into grikes, and the raised areas left in between are called clints. If you've got any questions at all about any of the processes in this, or um, how to best answer this in exam conditions, then come and find me in class or at a revision lesson.